just uh, been sleeping here in this little room behind the back of the restaurant here. So that was quite good. Very primitive, but we had a good night's sleep. That was the most important here when there was no really other place to camp. So um, that was good. There's a little shower, washroom up there. Very, very primitive again, but never mind. There was water. So that was all we needed. So there we today we've got to go up the mountain. Very big mountain, 2,200 meters. So. So 2,200 meters and it's early so we begin a little bit more early today mm. at uh, uh, I think it's 6 o'clock now mm. so yes. we will leave maybe 5 past 6 yeah. <laughs> Three bikes are ready About 400 kilometers the past few days, and I'm still feeling it now in our legs. Now we've got a mountain to go over. <laughs> Already ascending quite quickly. Just uh, see below, that's where we started, back down there in the valley. So, wonderful views now with the sun starting to appear over the mountains. It won't be long and the sun will come up over there. But now it's a nice cool shade because of the mountains are so steep at the side of us. Here we come up 1,600 meters. We going okay, Jamie? Yes. Oh, we came up from down there. Oh, can we go up there? Jamie doing a good job climbing this mountain. There's just two small dots on the seed place. And here you can see some of the names of the places we're going now. Andion will be the place we're going to then. Osh is in Kyrgyzstan. Kashgar, we're not going there but that's uh, China. After what one month of not riding on mountains, we still can do it. <laughs> that's good. And so far, Meta's knees are uh, holding out, so that's good. That's good. Okay, now I'm very shocked because we first start down there and you could not see where we were starting. It's very long down there, and uh, now we are here, and I think. Look at this really good road surface here. Yeah. Very smooth, nothing like yesterday when the bikes were banging and bumping all the time. Perfect road, makes it much easier. Turned up here, kind of attraction. So this will be a this will be a breakfast stop today, nine o'clock. Up at two thousand meters now. So oh, it hasn't taken many minutes to get crowd around in. <laughs> This is the breakfast place today. And some nice yogurt. Is the view good enough? Yes. That's where we just came up from. They look like scale electric cars, but uh, they're real cars. Came from down there. That's where we camp. Well, we can camp, stay in that restaurant down there. They have the most beautiful fresh yogurt here. It's cold and it's extremely fresh and tasty. Just it cost uh, ten pence. So, uh, very cheap. <laughs> Looks like the place that people from Uzbekistan, they come to get selfies here. So, okay, ready to do a bit more biking? Yes. Got another few hundred meters to go, I think the How top is... How many meters 
2200, I think, the top of the summit. Okay, let's get going. Anyway. Jamie's handing out stickers of Danish flags and selfies, I think. <laughs> Well, that was the best place I've ever had to eat yogurt. Just eating three of those yogurts. <laughs> Tasted great. Oh, really cold and fresh. That's what we need. Well, the guys on a the motorbike there. From Spain, by the looks of it. Now we're near the top. There's the summit there. Tunnel riding with some guards just before the tunnel, so I think I can guide the traffic into the left hand lane to uh, keep the traffic away from us. Let's see if they do that. Yeah, perfect. All the traffic is guided into the left hand lane by the, by the tunnel guards there. So we can cycle here on our own in our own lane. Perfect. Okay, safely through the tunnel without a single car or truck in our lane. What a wonderful job the uh, tunnel guards were doing there. Wow, well, they'll take care of us. So we came out of the tunnel, we were stopped by uh, an army man. He looked very dangerous, full army suit and knee protectors and a massive gun. And uh, he had like a hood on, he said, so he looked like a bank robber. So it looked very scary, but he just wanted to check our passports and then some other men came over and then he said okay and then we could go. So no problem, but it looks scary. So we're up over 2,000 meters, the air is much fresher and cleaner here now. Second tunnel, there's roadworks in this tunnel, but they've uh, allowed us to cycle through the other one that is closed for cars. Makes it very really easy. <laughs> so, just came by five different restaurants, but luckily the last one we took a bit of a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> because we don't want to bike up the mountain again. But uh, that's a good place here. So, once again, kebab. <laughs> and we uh, have these small little booths here where we sit and uh, very good. I see. One thing I want to say is before, in the start of the beginning, we were worrying about the meat, but now we begin to say kebab, kebab, kebab. Before we say no meat, no meat. So yeah, we have changed our mind because they make very good kebab. Yeah, very good. <laughs> yes, water, yes. <laughs> it's water, yes. It's a bit strange to believe we can climb a 2,200 meter mountain, have time for breakfast on the way up and lunch at uh, 12 o'clock on the other side, all the way down. Amazing. Time for yogurt number four today. <laughs> oh, I love these yogurts here. Where well, you can get those. And Jamie's in love with kebabs, I can see. <laughs> We have a nice lunch here. We're sitting in the booth just there. One of these kind of booths where you just sit in, sit there and have a rest, have some lunch. So we've got about 63 kilometers to do, a town called Kokan. So uh, that will be down in the Fergana Valley. So looks like that might be possible after all. I never knew, thought that this morning, but it depends how, uh, how easy it was to get over the, the mountain. But that went okay. So I'm going to do a bit of biking now, see if we can do. 60 kilometers to Kopf. Going the 
white car at least broke down. You can see me pushing the car. Well, it didn't take many minutes, and that guy in the white car in front of him, he just stopped. He said hello, Shuki Sando, he's already connected his car up and uh, I tow him away. Yeah, I don't think you need uh, breakdown services in this country, everybody just helps each other. So. This valley is famous for its production of cotton and lots of uh, watermelons and fruits and all that. It's got to be a very fertile valley. So. so. Most biggest and end changed our tires to some stronger ones. So we saw we finish the punctures because the last part of Turkey we had quite a few. But now Jamie has a puncture again and it's only what two, three days ago we had a puncture last time. And there's some little thorns from yeah, some kind of weed or bush or something that's got in the tire. Which we didn't think would puncture these big tires, but it has. Yeah. The good thing is that we could get off the main road in here and in the shade. So that's something good. Okay, and this is the animal today when it's daddy are fixing the puncture. There are three cows. Back on the road after Jerry's puncture. Uh, 20 kilometers to do now. I mean, in the, in the town where there's a few hotels. Now we're in the town of Cockham. Never thought that was possible this morning. Well done, 500 kilometers in five days. Yeah, that's great. How are we here? Day's rest tomorrow. Oh, great. Looks like there's some attraction over there. Today we're at the Viking here, 94 kilometers. 94 today. Nice place to have a resting day tomorrow. So my dear and Jamie just in the hotel reception now trying to negotiate a good price. Actually Medici's uh, getting quite a knack for negotiating. Money just to get cheaper rooms so uh, you now she does the negotiating. And uh, she's better than me getting cheaper prices so that's good. So um, yeah, i just went on the internet. This place got a good breakfast. Let's see if they have a room. And uh, stay here. Looks good. Once again, you never know what the day is going to bring. Here we are. It's a nice looking town. A nice hotel. We recommended a nice restaurant out here so we can uh, fill up our fuel tanks after 500 kilometers. Huh. Okay, now I'm doing the Finnish video today, and now I want to say tomorrow we are. Here in uh, what is the town? Say it again. Kokand. 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 The town today we are being one more day tomorrow. So that means we are sightseeing tomorrow in Kapan. And resting. And resting. Mainly resting. Yeah. <laughs> so eating yeah. a breakfast for at least three hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So see you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>